can't afford the war right now, Rock. I ain't getting on my knees, Nick. Not for you, or no man. We both know one of the worst things ever happened to Southside was Rock Hell Time was taken over for High Post. Only one king could rule the kingdom, Nick. I'm betting on you. Smart money, detective. Smart money. In all our spots. And what about Nick's corners? Passed over. Our money. Laughing at our crews while we got around. Nick making deals and selling us out. As long as we are in the open, they can touch us. And get back to business, and Nick gonna take our regulars for good. We got it by vision, not sight. We always looking ahead. I got something for you. Real weight. Quarter million uncut. Nick's re up. Why are you blessing me with this info? I mean, you police, right? You police. I'm reporting a crime. And Nick's corner's dead. <laughs> Shit to sell. Box stink all over this shit. He gonna head back, though. I just gotta figure out if it's gonna be to the body or to the head. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, Rock versus Unique. It is time to break this down. You already know these two have been going back and forth all season long. In this war, it is definitely about to take place in the second half. Of course, we know they've been trying to avoid, you know, going at each other. But Rock is on the offense and your boy Unique is looking for the counter. So we are definitely going to talk about this topic of discussion. You guys down below, let me know exactly who do you see winning this war when it's all said and done. Um, and also check out my last few videos. I broke down the whole Detective Howard bone marrow transplant. What is he going to do? Will he blackmail? Will he ask Rock? Will he talk to Kanan about this? Check that video out. Give me your theories and predictions for that. As well as your boy Lulu and Jessica. Should he just leave her, y'all? Let me know what y'all think about that. Check out the playlist. Keep yourself updated on all the latest Power Book 3 Raising Kanan news. And we know that Episode 6 will be returning. Power will be returning next week. So... We only got one more week left, guys. But in the meantime, we're going to continue to get ready, continue to break down these storylines. And of course, Rock versus Unique, it has to be talked about. Now, I waited and wanted everything to build up. And it's the perfect time to talk about these two going at it and how everything started. That is a good, you know, thing to talk about. Now, we know at the beginning of the season, your boy Unique did not agree on the corners that Rock was taking. Apparently, this was not a part of the original game plan that the OGs had with High Post. We know High Post ain't here no more, as Rock told him. You know what I'm saying? High Post and DEFCON definitely are not here anymore, so this is what Rock wants to do. Now, the way that Unique told Rock, I will say, was not the best. You don't have Buckle 20 roll past the diner shooting up in the air because you mad that she took some corners. You could have easily talked to her on the side. Um, now, he did explain that he did that because he wanted to get her attention. He's just t doing too much with that one. He could have easily just talked to her. They could have came to a compromise like they did anyway, right? So we know that they agreed to, of course, separate and, you know, split the corners. Everything was cool up until your boy Kanan made a crucial mistake. You know what I'm saying? Taking now Buck 20, now we got to get a body. And the body was who? D. Wiz. But see, after all that was settled, the whole D-Wiz, Buck 20, that was all handled, right? The thing was this. Your boy Unique was making deals with Detective Howard. See, that's what people don't like to talk about. This dude was making deals with Detective Howard. Detective Howard clearly told Unique only one person. There's only can be one king, one winner when it's all said and done. One code, right? Detective Howard is pulling for Unique. He does not want Rock to win. And it makes all the sense in the world why he doesn't want Rock to win now. Because the two have a history. And we already know what she has done to him, right? 
And this is before he found out that Canaan was his son. So your boy Unique setting up Rock, the corners, you know what I'm saying? They end up getting hit. And after that hit, we know Rock was pissed off. Dean stopped the supply from coming in. Um, of course, Rock said, you know what? It is time for me to come back hard. So ever since then, Rock has pretty much been on the attack. She pretty much set up Unique, um, gave the information to Detective Howard, regardless of what Detective Howard is telling Unique about who he wants to win and all that. He is putting his bets on Unique. If somebody brings him some information, he is going to do his job as he did um, when we saw that. And he was pissed off. But at the end of the day, business is business. So since Rock set him up, Unique, he's been plotting and planning. We know he hit the stash house. And the only reason he was able to do that was because of Davina. If Davina never gave that stash house up, nine times out of ten, Unique would have never found it, right? But he hit the stash house. Of course, it was a huge shootout. Your boy Marvin caught a body. Um, and I know your boy Unique was in some, you know, in his feelings. I know he was like, man, one of my soldiers got taken away. But then again, the dude probably didn't care anyway. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw what he did to Trez G. You know what I'm saying? So this dude, he is willing to sacrifice any of those soldiers in order for him to move up in the game. Now, after that happened, Unique has been kind of, you know, sitting in the back burner. Ain't really been doing too much. His corners got hit and he can't really do a whole lot on the streets like that. Now, Rock, she's been plotting and planning. She's got these new apartments up in the sky. She wants to see everybody's movements, right? She has been plotting and planning this since the very beginning of the season. She told Lulu and Marvin in the car that they pretty much got to be out of everybody's sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Now, we know in the last episode that Rock, she had conversations with a lot of people. But one of those people was your boy, Scrappy. Now, as she's talking to Scrappy, they cut off the camera and they go to a whole completely different scene i made the video about you know rock's plan to infiltrate unique because remember she says she wants to know all his movements she wants to know everything that he is doing so of course that theory is still out there i believe she is using this to of course gain information about unique some of you guys have said this is a strategy that kanan learned from his mom we know in the original power kanan sent dre to infiltrate to gain information and man your boy Dre definitely got a lot of information and he caused a lot of confusion within Ghost's organization. I mean, to be 100% honest, that whole game plan by Kanan um, pretty much screwed Tariq over, got Reyna killed, and, you know, pretty much screwed everything up in Ghost's organization, as I just told you guys. But that game plan that he pulled in the original power was straight up crazy with Dre. Now, I don't know if it's going to be at that level. Um, some of you guys believe that Scrappy is turning. Some of you guys say that he's not loyal. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to see. But in my prediction, I believe she is using Scrappy to gain information about Unique and his every move. Now, as I told you guys, this whole game plan, as far as Rock being on the offense, she may make some mistakes. Because if you want to play that much, much offense, you got to make sure you're playing defense. Now, I'm not saying that Rock is not playing defense. She clearly has a defensive mindset because she wants to be in the sky. She wants to see everybody else's moves. She's creating a strategy to where she can funnel the product in and out easily, right? Just in case somebody comes up in there and tries to take it from her. Now, that's a good strategy. But at the end of the day, you don't really see Unique too much. He's been plotting and planning, in my opinion. He is sitting back waiting for the counter now we know in episode six is going to be a musical showcase your boy lulu is going to be throwing we know famous will be there jukebox everybody's going to be at this showcase but we know it's going to be the nexus of the rivalry between unique and rock it's about to be a brawl straight up y'all know what's about to go down and unique we're going to see exactly what he's been plotting and planning we're also going to see what lulu is talking about where you know when he's talking about i'm gonna you know owe you a favor what type of favor is this you know what i'm saying what is it at the end of the day this whole unique and rock thing is getting very very hot it's a lot of bloodshed right a lot of bloodshed throughout the whole bloodshedding 
I will say they did come up with compromises, but still it's issues. A lot of the issues is because of certain people within the organizations making mistakes. The crazy part is, even though Unique and Rock came up with these, I will say, compromises and agreements, each of them went behind each other's back and set each other up. And they went to the same person, Detective Howard. See, everything was supposed to be cool with Unique and Rock, right? After the whole D-Wiz, Buck 20 thing. That was pretty much squash. But we know your boy Unique still mentioned Rock's name. Then all of a sudden, her corners get hit. So she already put two and two together and said, you know what? Unique set me up. And of course, Unique knew the same thing happened to him when his corners got hit. And of course, Trez G, of course, we know what he was doing and which caused him to lose his life. But at the end of the day, they both going behind each other's back, setting each other up. Who will win this when it's all set and done? I already told you guys that the supplier, Dean, the OG, he is saying that he don't want to get in between Rock and Unique, but I'm telling you that, or telling you this right now, as I told you in the past, if this gets entirely too big, which I think it is, he's going to have some issues and he is going to go off. Now, stopping the supply is one thing, but if these guys make some mistakes out there and I will say create a trail, which could lead back to him, he is going to get his hands dirty. Guys like that is dangerous. As Kanan said, he is quiet and violent. Trust me, silent and violent, whatever. This dude ain't nobody to be messing around with. Um, so hopefully they can keep their little war on the hush hush. But based off the past, based off what we've been seeing thus far, I would say that's not going to be the case. These two are going to make a lot of noise. And there's going to be more bodies that's going to get dropped off. The question is, who will win? Now, in my opinion, I believe your girl Rock somehow, some way, is going to come out with the victory. I think she's going to be able to neutralize Unique when it's all said and done. It's not going to be easy, but she will get the job done. Trust me. She has a vision. And, you know, if everything goes the way she plans, even if it's not perfect, I believe her game plan will be okay. But you guys let me know, man. Did you think your boy Unique is going to be able to counter? Will he be able to win this war between Rock? I don't know about that, man. I just don't know. I do believe Unique's biggest weakness is his crew. Um, it seems like he's a solid dude. He don't trust none of them, which you should not do. But his crew will be his weakness. We know that the boy Rail believes that Scrappy is loyal to him, that he's going to flip on, on Rock. But like I told you guys, I don't believe that's going to happen. His crew is kind of shaky, in my opinion. Um, in Rock's organization, her biggest, her biggest weakness is, of course, your boy Marvin. He makes entirely too many mistakes um, in Canaan because she has to watch out for her son. So having them two make all those mistakes, that was going to be her biggest weakness. She's trying to neutralize him, but we know that's not going to be the case. Canaan's going to be out on his block, on the block, getting in all types of trouble, making more mistakes. But I will say the first half of, of the season, he made a lot of mistakes. In the second half, I will expect him to do better so the determining factor to me is whose crew is stronger the crew that makes the least mistakes is the crew that's going to win this war you know what i'm saying who is that crew will it be rock's crew or will it be unique's crew and based on what we've been seeing so far both crews have made a lot of mistakes but canaan has made crucial mistakes but somehow some way rock has been able to neutralize those mistakes and protect him eventually she's not going to be able to protect him and the last thing that she wants is Kanan to turn on her but I will say in season one this war between Unique and Rock she will figure out a way to get the victory and also one crucial weakness is Detective Howard you know what I'm saying finding out the truth about Kanan this dude could protect Kanan he could say I want to protect my seed now if he's in this to protect his son that means this is bad news for Unique. And even though he hates Rock, he hates what she's done. One thing I will say is he may have that love for his son. He may say, you know what? I have to protect my seed no matter what. I have to look out for him. He's just a kid. He never knew who I was. Of course, he didn't know I was his father. So maybe Detective Howard will be that determining factor as well. Coming in saying, you know what? I need to protect my son and help him survive. But at the end of the day, only time should tell. We know that Detective Howard definitely needs Kanan 
to live. Um, that is my prediction. I think he's going to need his son for that whole bone marrow transplant. And maybe he looks out for his son and, you know, saves Rock and her organization. But we're going to see, man. You guys let me know, man. Who do you see winning? Um, How do you see it playing out? We're going to continue to break down these videos. We're going to figure out who the winner is when it's all said and done at the end of the season. But as I said, check out the playlist. Keep yourself updated on all the latest Power Book 3 Racing Canaan news. I will continue to drop more content for you guys throughout the week. We're going to continue to get ready for Episode 6. And I cannot wait. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.